You are watching Sal TV, competitive Team Fortress 2, and we're going to be watching one of the games that was played at the recent ESEA LAN. This was a big game because whoever lost this was going to drop down to the loser's bracket. They're not out of the playoffs yet, but uh, this, this is a big deal. So, Snakewater here between HRG and Mixup, probably the two top teams in North America. Let's just get right into it. Whoa, okay. Sorry about that. I've completely forgotten how to cast. It's been like maybe three weeks since I ran my own camera, so you're just going to have to uh, deal with it. I do apologize, but yeah, school got really busy there at the end. And these days, I am uh, spending a lot of time outside of work doing stuff like rock climbing. So, I don't necessarily have a lot of time to do casts anymore, sadly. Uh, it may end up being like a once a week thing that I make a video. I don't know yet. I, we'll see how it works. But Tag immediately jump in the med, so he's taking out Hard Blue. Uh, sadly, Shade, I think, is dead as well. It is just Tag room left, and he has been taken out. So, mix up. Gonna win the first mid fight on Snakewater. Um, now, the funny thing about this matchup. HRG throughout the season were consistently picked as, or, well, they were consistently winning games. Like, they never lost a single map. They never lost a single game. Uh, they got here and they, I mean, they started destroying, but everybody thought mix up with their roster changes and with all their practice and all that, and with everything on the line, uh, they thought that mix up was going to beat HRG because mix up is a very, very strong team, and I think that their matchups during the season uh, mix up was having roster issues like Ruin wasn't even there for one of them and uh, and that's a pretty big deal when Ruin's not there so uh, just right away we are seeing like the two closest match teams in North America uh, Banny going to go ahead and help take down Platinum so with no demo we are going to see mix up retreating HRG executing pretty solid here and mix up looks like he must come back in though there's a crits krieg right now i don't see where shade is in fact shade is definitely definitely dead tyler taking that crits there knocking down shade uh you do see that uh hard blue appears to be dead and sizer trying to go ham trying to take down two players at the same time not gonna happen though ruin enigma will take him down that's mostly enigma's kill and uh by the way enigma playing roamer he's been playing scout for season after season and why won't this nameplate go away that is incredibly annoying okay well um I can't rid of the nameplates. I'm very upset. Apparently my HUD is totally broken because of the Steam update today. But, you know, today's first day I actually get to cast something. So, uh, again, totally just deal with it. Because uh, this is TF2, ladies and gentlemen. It's been so long since I managed to cast anything that I got the itch. The itch today. We gotta do it. So, we're gonna be watching... Oh my gosh, it is incredibly loud all of a sudden. Okay, I have finally figured out how to cast. Mostly. 2013, I've been doing this for two years. I think I've got it. All right. Um, no, HRG is backed up to the last point right now. Mix up with the Crits Krieg, pretty stunning success. But Sizer doing exactly the right thing here for a Crits. Remember that Crits Krieg damage does not do critical damage to the sentry guns. So they are going to have to uh, deal damage to the players instead, but that sentry is going to be dealing damage the whole time. Platinum taking a lot of hits here on that demo man. He does go down, taggering down an exchange, and there goes the Uber. So HRG getting a ton of kills. Look at that kill feed right now. It is going very, very solid the way of blue team, and Tyler not able to retreat. That means that Shade and his wonderful friend Lansky here are going to be able to take down Harblue. Probably Harblue getting down to about half health. Actually, they're not finishing the chase right now, and Harblue got away from that. That don't really know um, how that happened because frankly if you are running past point two all the way to, to mid as a med alone there's almost no excuse for that to have happened but whatever HRG oh, I guess a little bit concerned maybe at the respawners or something like that they're playing it safe uh, but we'll see uh, because hard blue is gonna have the crits pretty pretty soon who's gonna use this on I would guess probably platinum again and platinum is getting ready to walk right in here with that crits there it goes he knows he's got to go right away though or else they will miss shade and it looks like shade has already been missed so he's laying down just a couple of crit stickies all over the place to prevent enemies from getting in too easily uh, you are going to see the uber come in though to try and stop this point cap those crit stickies are still laid down but lansky and banny have gotten some kills here, and now it looks like HRG is right back at it. It's three versus three at the moment, though, with YZ50 Racer. That is, uh, it's a type of, I was about to say breed, but it's a type of motorcycle. YZ50 trying to chase in on Shade from the side. It didn't happen, though, and now you see the, uh, the, this is interesting dynamic here. You're going to see Banny and Shade, Banny, of course, on the demo, Shade, his medic, versus Platinum and Harblue. And I gotta say, Platinum and Harblue are great, but Banny and Shade probably just that much more practiced. Banny is an amazing demo man. He practices pretty much all the time. So 
It's gonna be pretty crazy. The crit's coming in once again, though. This, oh, this, oh, this trap, oh, this trap, oh, this trap. They're standing right on top. Oh my God, they noticed it though. Okay, that would have been a perfect death, but it didn't happen. And uh, I'm probably freaking out about the wrong stuff. Anyway, we do see Enigma back in behind, so he forces the Uber very nicely. Uh, that's gonna help his team out as long as they can get away without losing too many more players. Looks like that's what they'll do. Uh, they've lost half though, including Platt, and that is gonna be a pretty big deal. HRG probably pushing on to the midpoint very, very shortly. Tyler um, missing the health kit the first time. Always hate when I do that. And yeah, uh, Mixup can go ahead and back up to their second point now. They're giving up mid to their opponents. Harblue, is Harblue back on the uh, regular Uber now? Looks like, yes, he is. They are going to be changing regular Ubers. Um, that's the thing about HRG's play here. I'm not sure if they intended it, but they actually didn't kill Harblue for a surprisingly long time. And it almost makes me wonder, I would like to hear their comms for this, because they might have wanted Hardblue to stay alive, just so he wouldn't have a regular Uber. He would stay on that Kritzkrieg, and they would know exactly what they were dealing with and exactly when to deal with it. So, um, you know, if, if I were a gambling man, I would almost bet my life on the fact that they wanted Hardblue to have that crits for a while, because HRG is so strong right now, pushing in with the Uber, no problem. They've taken down Hardblue with Sizer, beautiful Uber onto Sizer there. Shade just needs to retreat and make sure he stays alive so he can keep this Uber advantage, and they want to cap the second point as well. A lot of damage going down to the uh, wide, I'm sorry, under the mix-up team, I was supposed to say the YZ50 team, and I can't talk today. But Ruin, not going to be able to do anything other than hang out on that boxcar. And Tagarung already on the last point, nobody able to stop him just yet. In fact, this might have been one of the, uh, one of the kills from his LAN frag video. He made a frag video of himself, and I highly recommend watching it, because everything Tagarung does is golden. Platinum laying that sticky just perfectly. And we are going to see who will win this next round, because there's still still plenty of time left to go here. Platt going to lay down a stick, his opponent going to lay down the same, so they are exchanging, or attempting to exchange damage. Uh, looks like Banny might have taken an early loss there, but uh, it's not going to be a lot. And the meds will get here very soon, so you're going to see Platinum get his health right back up to full. Nice hits in the air, though. Enigma's down, but so is Shade, Sizer, and Tyler, and Banny is just exchanging kill after kill. But if Harblue can stay alive and stick, I think, with Platinum here, he should be good. Oh, staying alive is so hard, though, when you've got scouts and soldiers all over the place. Lansky and Shrugger and Tagarung all dealing some damage to Harblue there, and that's going to finish him off, meaning the HRG may once again win a mid-fight here and should be in position to win another round. This is looking really, really good. I gotta say, as far as games go, of course, you can always expect a good game from Mixup versus HRG. Um, I am quite excited. I didn't even get to see this. I was in class. I was in like, like my very last class of the year. Platinum laying down the sticks. We'll see if anybody falls for that one. I don't actually see sticky traps placed there all that often, so we'll just see who caps the point here. Um, yeah, last class of the year happened this LAN weekend, which was really sad. And then the weekend after that was presentations and... Oh man, it's just a lot of work, but it is all over, it's all behind me now. Nobody noticing the uh, trap just yet, so this could actually work. Nobody sees it, but nobody's actually going into it either, so that's going to be a problem. It looks like the entire blue team is going to go through the saw room, except for one scout. And so the stickies are ill-placed to cause any damage here. Um, Hardblue almost has his Uber, so it looks like HRG playing slow and steady. They have actually given up their Uber advantage here. Uh, oh, it's a crit! Oh my god, incoming at Crits Krieg. No damage done to Mixup, though. And this Uber is perfectly countering the crits. There is just nothing that Shade will be able to do to get out of this. Uh, he, yep, is down. YZ50 finishing him off there with that scatter gun. There was just not a lot of health left on that. Poor, poor medic. And so Mixup going to recapture the mid. They are the ones whose turn it is to shut down a Crits Krieg now. And we'll see. Uh, they went ahead and just wanted to kill Shade, though. Tag getting run behind. Interesting jumps. But I don't know if he's going to get away with much here. He is dealing some damage to Platt, who is down to like half health. But I don't know. He's getting caught. And uh, at this point, just kind of dancing around in the corner. Oops. Didn't manage to get any momentum before he bunny hopped there. And so that is going to cause... Um, quite possibly some severe lopsided battles here because it's six versus five right now. Platinum just trying to lay down some damage from behind that boxcar. And it looks like he's managed to do a bit. Uh, Enigma down. I didn't manage to see what he was doing. He's probably suicide bombing in there to try to hit Shade. And it looks like Shade is not going to have any of that. Shrugger down. Uh, but Banny is trying to sticky out his opponents from that bottom area. Uh, they just want to make sure they can build up Shade's Uber long enough here that they don't have to deal with the enemy Uber incoming. And it looks like they will manage to do that. 90% on Shade almost now. Uh, Sizer on the Sniper. Sizer, Sizer, Sizer. Shrugger on the Heavy, actually, which is interesting. Okay, well, here comes the Uber right now. Uh, and the Heavy, of course, is a good choice here because it's going to remain Ubered for a while. He's going to have uh, an overheal, probably, although not right now. Tyler getting popped onto the Shack and destroyed. 
And HRG with a successful defense, so Mixup not going to have their first round secured just yet, if at all. We'll see if it happens. HRG looking so good right now, maybe they just won't drop a single round. Uh, and remember that if HRG continues this streak, um, they may just be the second team ever to win a season and a LAN completely undefeated. Of course, last time that happened, I think was last season actually with classic mix-up. A slightly different roster out of mix-up though. Uh, Pure was on med for one instead of hard blue. Hard blue was on the roamer and Enigma was on scout. So you will see just a little bit of a difference in playstyle as uh, hard blue, I guess gets kind of bored with med. I mean, a lot of people would, I understand that, but um, but having Enigma on Soldier instead of Harblue is a big difference because Harblue, uh, as everybody has said, has brought so much to the profession of roaming Soldier. Uh, Tagaring, though, speaking of bringing a lot to the profession, Tag is just as crazy sometimes. He doesn't do as much crazy off-classing, but it's because he's just really, really good at Soldier. Um, and I've seen him in scrims and practice matches against other teams. And one thing that teams just consistently fail to do is watch the flank all the time. And so uh, Tag just seems to have this sixth sense for like when the enemy is not watching a, a particular route. And he always takes that route and he always gets behind. So we'll, we'll see if he continues to do that. This game right now, of course, Classic Mixup deciding they are tired of the stalemate. They're going to push in. Enigma down. Did not able... Uh, did not able? Wow, jeez. Jeez, I am so rusty. Uh, not able to force the Uber, and now YS50 down as well, but HRG losing three people in the middle of this Uber exchange. HRG not too happy about this. Lansky is going to be dealing some damage, uh, and it looks like Harblue's down, Ruin's down. It's just Tyler, Platinum, Enigma left alive with HRG on the warpath. I think they'll be able to resecure their midpoint. If they can get out of here without dying, but Sizer eats a lot of spam there. Tyler actually was sitting in the corner. He has gone down to Lansky, which got to make Lansky feel good, but Shade now retreating because Lansky's dead. Uh, not always the best of situations when your pocket runs away from you and dies. And I'm sure even if you've just played the simplest of pubs as a medic, you know that. You know that feeling. Um, it's like, yeah, I'm going to heal you. Oh, no, you, I'm not going to. You're not in range to heal anymore. Now there's nobody to defend me. Oh, that sucks. But, you, uh, you know, these guys are experts, of course. They know exactly how to position and when. So, oh, Shade down. So, just as I was complimenting him on his expert positioning, he got hit from behind by a scout. It happens, you know, at this level. I mean, the med is such a huge high-value target. You're going to die sometimes. And it looks like tag down to Tyler. Tyler, of course, wicked aim on that shotgun. Enigma now behind enemy lines as well. And it looks as if HRG can't cap that midpoint after all. So Mixup could still have a chance here at winning a round. Shade, nowhere close to an Uber. Harblue almost has his, and they are pushing on this. They're being very, very aggressive right now. They don't have their entire team ready to go just yet, but they know that with this Uber advantage, they want to press it. They want to take down their opponents. And HRG are just, they're, they're sitting back. They're like, okay, yeah, bring it in. Uh, I guess we'll just try and force you. Here comes the spam right now, and that is going to be Tag jumping straight in, but it looks like he didn't manage to force Harblue after all. Shade at... Oh! Never mind. Banny with the pills, and that's going to be Harblue dropping an Uber. Um, to be fair, Harblue was, you know, if I were in his shoes, I knew I wanted to, like, take a gamble on winning a round. That's what I would have done, too. I would have tried to hold the Uber until pushing into last. But now, of course, that gives HRG just a huge, huge advantage. Um, they've got the heals, so you see, of course, that Mixup losing a lot of health, and they have to retreat to a health kit when that happens, whereas their opponents can just pop back to their med real quick and get the buffs. So here comes the Uber right now from HRG. That's going to be Sizer on the heavy, taking down Enigma. And YZ50, now we're going to watch his game just a little bit as he tries to lay down some additional spam on the enemies who are incoming. Oh, nice kill on Banny, by the way. And he's going to start chasing down Shade as well. Doesn't take any hits until Sizer pops him up into the air there with that mini, uh, sorry, mini gun. Shrugger is coming in now behind enemy lines. And he may not have the greatest aim of all the scouts here. Although, you know, there's nothing to shrug at. Haha. <laughs> I was going to say scoff at. And then I don't know what happened. But uh, he, he's, he's definitely one of the best Dodgers and one of the most consistent players who has ever played the game. Um, the only time that people have seen him be inconsistent and, like, not very good was back during LAN last season, or maybe it was two seasons ago. Mix-up, of course, popping up with the Uber now, and they should be able to win this round, no problem. Although, Banny's still doing so much damage, and Lansky going to chase down the med. My god, I just can't finish a story between these two teams because they are constantly at war, having action all the time here. Looks like Mix-up not going to win on this push either. Um, Shrugger, he had one bad performance at a LAN, and apparently that's because he just did not manage to get his, uh, his mouse and his keyboard there. So he was playing on loner equipment, which was not his own, he wasn't used to it, and that's understandable. Um, Shrugger, 
really super good. And I think this land is going to start to prove that in everybody's mind. Tyler with a nice little shot there on tag. He's not going to let him get a single... A single another? Oh, gosh. He's not going to let him get a single rocket onto his med. And I'm just... I'm tired of talking. Talking is hard, and I, I want life to be easy. So, I don't know. Tyler is still in behind enemy lines. Does force the Uber. Trying to get away, but no, he will get shotgun out of the air there by Lansky, who is really coming into his own as a pocket this LAN. Uh, Platinum going to be jumping in and trying to cut off the retreat of HRG. Lansky doing some good damage, but Plat will get away from those... Uh, the straight line firing rockets. He's trying to cut Banny off from the retreat now as well, and Banny will go down. Uh, Platt getting the heals. And Shrugger is now on the heavy. You can't dodge when you're playing heavy. At least not very well. We'll see what happens, but I'm pretty sure he is going to be uh, down for the count as soon as he gets focused, which may happen fairly soon. Hardblue has the Uber, so they're coming in right now. We'll see what Lansky and the rest of his team can do. HRG uh, backing up at the moment from the Uber to Scout. And Lansky is now down. Sizer trying to stop this, but it's just... Uh, actually, it's just one person left. It is just Hardblue, and he is not going to get that. HRG have such a good defense here on this last point. Uh, and Snakewater is a tough last point to push, but, I mean, we've seen teams do it time and time again. So it's not like it can't happen. Tag going to go ahead and jump a little bit forward here, just waiting for his opponents to spawn, because they do spawn very, very close. Let's, let's take a look here. Um... They actually spawned, like, right up there, and five of them spawned. So it was a good idea for Tag to get just a little bit forward so his opponents could not push in and deal a whole ton of damage to his team. Uber's not probably far enough away from each other to matter, so both teams are going to have an Uber at roughly the same time, within about 10 seconds of each other, uh, and that's just not enough time to really press an advantage unless you are right on top of the enemy team already, which looks like Mixup actually is going to be right on top of their opponents. Harblue takes some damage. Tyler down to Tag, actually. Uh, so the Romer Bomb killing the Pocket, which doesn't happen every day. Harblue and Enigma both gone, and that is going to be a huge advantage to HRG. Once again, they've got the heals, they've got the Uber, uh, and Mixup is in full retreat. Let's see where, uh, let's see, yeah, Shrugger has found a opposing scout, and he is just so good on the dodges right now, but not good enough. Ruin, looking like he is the better scout in that exchange. And HRG still want to push into mid. Mixup going to try and stop this, but uh, Harblue really, oh, interesting. I thought Harblue was going to have to retreat. Uh, as it turns out, maybe there was a uh, backup attempt there by Ruin, and so Harblue does not have to retreat just yet. We are going to see our opposing team here. HRG pushing in with the Uber right now. Uh, an interesting... Uh, interesting play there by Enigma. What he did, I guess, was just a big distraction play. Bombing in and forcing Shade to turn around. Uber everyone just so they wouldn't take any damage. They will get in and cap the point. But Enigma managed to keep that Uber away from the rest of his team. Which actually is a pretty good sacrifice to make. And you will now see Mixup back on their second point. It is still, I'm pretty sure, 1-0. Boom. 1-0. Oh. In favor of HRG. Uh, the points are telling a little bit of a story here. As Platinum and Enigma are very, very low on the point scale. Um... Banny almost double their points, and he is the lowest scoring member of his team, but everybody on his team actually pretty much almost has the same amount of points. Interesting. Uh, probably have a lot of kills per person, a lot of cap time on those scouts might be the difference. Um, but dominations, too. Like, just kill streaks on their opponents. Lansky has two right now. Gotta feel good. And, you know, they... they ideally, you wouldn't pay attention to dominations. Like at all you'd just be like yeah whatever okay i killed him four times in a row but it doesn't matter but i wonder if there is a, just a little bit of a psychological edge even if the players won't acknowledge it like when you hear that domination sound go off you're like hmm i wonder if you turn that off though you could probably turn it off entirely and you see taggering junking in, uh, junking in jumping in right now trying to kill hard blue hard is down at 100 percent uh i'm sorry down very low health 100 percent uber and he did not pop it there uh, which is very, very characteristic of Harb. He is a very risky player when it comes to those Ubers. I think Shade is going to be a little bit less risky this game. Um, so you're, you're going to see kind of the, the difference between those two. As, as If Shade gets bombed in, he's going to probably pop that a lot more often than his opposing medic will. So Harblu, his, his philosophy seems to just be don't use the Uber until it's going to be a good position for your team anyway. Preserve it until you can push. Something like that. I don't know. I mean, I didn't get a degree in TF2-ology. I got a degree in business, actually. That's that's what I finished school for. It's a master's in business administration. Now I have free weekends. Free weekends. It's I. It's so nice to say that, because I haven't had those for two years. Uh, HRG and Mixup. Just kind of hanging out right now. 
I don't know how much time is left in the server because ESEA servers don't usually tell you that sort of thing. Tag down once again, not able to deal a lot of damage to Harblue. Enigma actually took quite a bit. Um, but again, we're not going to see Mixup really push on this. They're, they're just getting a little bit forward. But I don't really think they want to commit. And this is why. It's because Lansky will juggle you up in the air and cause a lot of problems. Actually, Lansky could have some problems of his own here. He's really got to be careful right now. And I love his positioning. He is managing to stay alive for so long with this medic healing, keeping that heal beam just barely on him. Mix up losing both their scouts. And that's going to be the push. Uh, Lansky coming in right now. He does get dropped by Shade, though. And that's not going to be great for HRG's push here. They might still be able to cap because it is five versus four. And you're going to see Enigma, I think, behind enemy lines there die as well. So HRG probably going to cap this point. No problemo. Mix up kind of feeling a little defeated here. On the back foot, they are going to push into their last point. But it's not over yet. And you are going to see Platt laying down the sticky traps. You're going to see a lot of defense coming out. They are all on scout. So it looks like no off class on defense from Mixup until Enigma comes up. And now it's Enigma on heavy, Ruin on sniper. That's going to be a little different than what we've seen in the past. Uh, Shade going to probably stay very, very safe. And I really wish. I know replays. It's not even the replay button. I'm pressing my HUD spectator thing button. It doesn't work. I don't know. Blue gave me the, the, the shadow outline thing and said it was updated for the new TF2 steam pipe, but it doesn't work. Tag jumping in, gets uh, gets his clock cleaned. And mix up on defense are just going to have to wait their opponents out unless Ruin can get like the world's craziest body shot or headshots on that med. Not going to get it from there. Although I think his opponents do realize that it is a sniper. Uh, he can still make something happen if he gets... He's just going to have to get incredibly aggressive with his positioning. We'll see. We'll see. Ruin, can you do it? What can you accomplish for us, Ruin? I wish we had the player outlines right now. I wish we could wall hack because wall hacking is great. It's just wonderful. Oh, it's sniper v sniper. Sizer actually managed to go back and go sniper and Ruin, I don't think he knew that until just now. He's going to go ahead and grab a, uh, a little bit of health from the cabinet there. And Sniper versus Sniper is never good because it means HRG are very, very confident that they can just sit back and not have many problems. Uh, interesting positioning on the Heavy, though. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's he doing? What's he doing? Lansky sees this, and he's like, whoa, that is a Heavy very close to me. Doesn't really like it, I don't think. So, who is going to win this Sniper battle? It is still anyone's guess. Uh, I'm trying to find a Sniper. Ruin! We're watching you, man. Sees this, the soldier coming in that was going to be tagged for another bomb. And that's that's one thing that Mixup actually have uh, have said about BP's, sorry, not BP, HRG's play. Um, Sizer with a nice kill on Enigma, and that's probably going to be the, the uh, motion to push. Does the motion have a second? Motion has a second. Uh, motion passes, and the push will occur. HRG coming in right now. Uh, there goes the Uber from Harblue, just going to be a little bit better than his opponent. And at that point... It looks like HRG should not be able to win this unless they can cause some miracles here. And they are not going to do that. They're backing up through the shutter door. You're going to have the sniper open the door just briefly. Not able to get a kill there. And he has got to be careful now. Enigma up high. But he does get spotted there by Sizer. So he's going to have to back off. Um, I forget exactly what I was saying. Oh, uh, that, that BP, HRG here. They play a very, very slow game on offense. It's disciplined. That's what I would I would tend to call it. Um, a lot of teams, you know, especially lower level teams like uh, Open, um, some Highlander teams, even an intermediate, and sometimes even an invite, you will see teams get just a little bit bored, a little bit impatient, and they might, you know, um, make a change in their tactics as a result. So, uh, in a, if if I were in HRG's position, for instance, I would say, okay, well, we've tried bombing in tag three times, so let's change it up. Let's. You know, obviously they put Sizer on Sniper, which is really just a counter to Ruin. But other than that, it's like, yeah, we had him try bombing in three times. So let's change it up. Um, we've tried having Sizer snipe enemies three times. Okay, let's change it up. But that's not what HRG do. They realize that if they take enough shots here... Oh! Sizer down. Um, and if they only lose one person while taking each shot, that eventually they're, they're just playing the odds, and the odds will work in their favor. Why is he 50 down right now? And so... That, that's exactly what HRG is doing with every single bomb and every single sniper play. They are playing the odds because even if each one of these is like a you know 20 or 10 percent chance of working, eventually one of them will work as long as Mixup can't push out. So they don't have to make a change. They don't have to try anything crazy. They just have to push in when they got an Uber, push in when they've got a player advantage, um, and if it doesn't work, 
push right back out. Shrugger down right now, and so you are going to see Mixup trying to... Uh, oh, hello. Take down this heavy. Now, the heavy play was a changeup, so I lied about uh, HRG's attempts there. Too bad. That was that was how they were characterized to me, but then all of a sudden they're making all these changes, and I'm like, oh, come on. Anyway, Mixup is uh, trying to retreat here. Take down Banny, who was attempting a back cap. Shrugger going to trap have to save his med here and yeah there you go Sizer and Shrugger both uh, thinking about defending this point or at least causing their opponents some harm while they capture it but HRG I don't think they can actually defend this you do see that cap time getting stacked dangerously now um, even the med on the point that's going to be a problem Harblue doesn't have a health kit to retreat to incoming rockets not quite able to kill him though oh man such good defense ruin uh, platinum and Tyler all working in concert to keep Harblue alive and he's still up somebody steals his health kit what a jerk but doesn't even matter as HRG are all dead and so Harblue can just grab the kit from right here doesn't have to pop that uber at all this is how that risk pays off Harblue loves taking these risks with the uber and and you saw how low got, uh, how low he got on health, but it doesn't matter. He's got an Uber now, and they can use this to push into their opponent's second or even their last point. This is where Mixup really excel. This is how, uh, basically, their best position they could possibly be in. Because um, if you give them an inch, they will take like three points away from you in the blink of an eye. That is exactly what's happening. Hard blue, not popping. Oh, there you go. Finally, does. Okay, so that is going to be their cue to try and push into last. They won't have much of an Uber, but their opponents will have none. And you do see them getting in here right now. Um, Tagarung is down. Mixup still playing the aggressive game, but they've lost YZ50. They've lost Enigma. And now uh, Ruin is down as well. Tyler just going to have to retreat and cause as much damage as he can. But it's not going to be a lot. Platinum and Tyler both going to have to keep Harb alive. But you do see already Banny in behind. Tyler going to go for him. Um, but he's not going to be able to get that kill. Platinum, though, got the kill on Shade. Didn't even see where that uh, Sticky Bomb trap was. But it doesn't matter. As Shade's down. So Mixup is going to have another attempt here to cap that last point. And Ruin gets a kill on Lansky. Now, HRG's in a difficult spot here because, oh, Enigma and Ruin doing a tag team on that entire HRG contingent. Shrugger, nope, not going to make anything happen. So, Mixup pushing into last. They don't even need the Uber right now. They know they've got a huge player advantage. Hard Blue going to take a bit of a hit there, but it doesn't matter. That was Mixup's round. That is exactly what they needed to get back into this game. One to one, ladies and gentlemen, on Snakewater. That was a very long round, too. Probably about 20 minutes worth of a round. Um, it, it was, in fact, 20 minutes of a round. Uh, it went from 23 down to about 310 remaining. So if it's tied 1-1, to we may not even see another point in this half. It's very possible. Snakewater can be a slow map, especially when you're looking at HRG playing it. They play slow. Um, but they play for keeps. And so the incoming damage uh, right now seems to be favoring HRG once again. Hard Blue, Enigma, Tyler all down. Ruin going to maybe wrap around? No, maybe just go for the uh, kill on a scout's back. And he will go ahead and take down Shrugger before Lansky gets that finishing move. But uh, Mixup can actually Bach their... Uh, I'm sorry, Bach. Box their opponents out of mid right now. Uh, YZ50 going to try and chase down the med. Don't know if he can get this kill, though. He really wants it. There you go. Lansky's going to be dead. And YZ50 not able to finish off the med. But he at least got the soldier, which was a pretty sick kill, if I do say so myself. And I do, because you heard me say it. Um, Banny is so good. That is all there is to say about that. There is nothing more to say on the matter. Shade actually did die, so Banny wasn't able to save him. Um, but uh, we are going to watch as in seven seconds, like Lazarus, he is resurrected. And uh, Banny, Banny brings him back to life. That's, that's, how, uh, that's how TF2 works. Sadly, he doesn't bring him back to life with full Uber. Uh, that might be just a little bit OP. And uh, and even Banny Jesus, he likes to play fair. He really does. So there you go. That's uh, that is a cap on mid by HRG. Not a lot of time left in this half. And if I were mix up, I'd be thinking, oh, you know, there's uh, it's very it's gonna be almost impossible for them to win this round. So what they really just want to do is kind of spoil their opponents, delay the push as much as possible. They've got the Uber ready to go. And I think HRG are kind of like, okay, well. You know, we can't pull out to a lead, but let's just wait. And wait they shall. They're building the Uber right now. They've probably still got about two minutes, maybe one and a half minutes left to go here. So they're, once again, they're playing the odds. If their opponents wipe out, they win. If their opponents don't wipe out, they can't lose. It just goes into the second half. Mix up, what are you going to do? Nothing. It's going to be a nice, slow uh, end of the half, pretty much. We'll see an Uber come in. See if anything can happen. Harblue going to go ahead and pop his, so not a lot yet. It's pretty much just invincible players kind of poking each other 
and going, hey, does it hurt? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Yeah, that's exactly what invincible soldiers sound like when they're poking into each other. HRG is losing a couple players here, and Tyler are going to go ahead and get a bunch of damage. It's just Shade and Tag left alive, and where is Tag right now? He is in on the med, but uh, not going to happen. So, Shade retreating. Enigma grabbing the middle, but Hardloo says GH, and that probably means there's just not a lot of time left. Let's see what happens. Can they get the cap? They got the cap. G H. Good half. We'll st I, it's still, I mean, they're calling it, but it's not happening. And mix up are still kind of pushing. Why are they calling it when it's not It's not happening? Mix up, are they going to win around? Because nobody understood time? There you go. Good half. Okay. No, I mean, they obviously knew that there wasn't enough time for either team to win anything. Okay, we'll be right back. I just want to point out that, uh, uh, oh, uh, darn it. Okay. Well, anyway, so everybody says dot ready. And it says, is now ready, is now ready, except for Tag, which says, has prepared his body. I don't know why that is, but that's awesome. Okay, it's second half time. There are a few players that we have not watched all that much yet, so uh, I need to get some more Enigma Cam, I think, and we'll see what he decides to do on this mid-fight. Uh, we also probably need to get some more Shrugger Cam. I haven't watched a lot of, in fact, we haven't watched a lot of Lansky. We have seen, I think, a good amount of Banny, and Banny, of course, is always a good player to watch. Uh, Enigma going to probably start taking the heals momentarily, and he's leading the med up the left side. So they're going to play just a bit of a safer game here at mid, possibly. Uh, Enigma, though, jumps straight in. Nice jumps on the med. He takes down Shade, first kill of the half, as the Enigma then dies right thereafter. Hardblue is down as well to a nice pipe from Banny. So Lansky is uh, going to start leading this team in for the push. Maybe they can still clinch the, the mid fight. It looks like they will. Tyler down. Ruin's the only one left, and can he escape? I think he has. No, he's not even trying to escape yet. He's just trying to uh, surf rockets. Sadly, that is not a uh, not a pastime that is without danger. I'll let you. I'll let that sentence soak in for a second. It meant exactly what I said. It's just that what I said was a garden path of a crappy sentence. Um, anyway, mix up. Going to be on the back foot once again here, as it is still one to one in this second half. And you're going to see Platt starting to lay down just a couple sticky bombs here, trying to lay some damage on his opponents before they can really get into the fight proper. Enigma already ate a whole ton of pipes, though, or something. Something that was not good for his digestive tract, because he is down for the count, going to be visiting the bathroom while, uh, while HRG push in, and they are getting really right up in their opponent's face right now. Mix up with three players left alive. They've got the scout capping back behind uh, while... HRG decide to jump in, and Lansky's going to go ahead and, oh, surf right over his enemy team. Sadly, not going to really get any kills or any uber forces or anything like that. So, Har oh, hello, Harblue. Eats one pipe, or I'm sorry, one sticky from Banny. But that one sticky's not really enough to do much of anything. So, as of right now, mix up still looking pretty solid. They've got uh, an uber, and they've got Ruin on the sniper. So, they are very much in for the long haul here on defense. They know their defense is pretty good. And we know their defense is pretty good because we've seen it. We've seen it happen. Um, Shrugger, we hadn't seen him a lot. Although there is a sniper, so I guess we'll watch the sniper for now. Because it's always cool to see headshots. But we do need to get some Shrugger cam here in a little bit. Hello, headshot. Tagrun taking the damage, and yep, that's going to be the kill. Uh, nice kill by Ruin. Uh, I think Tag probably didn't have any overheal there, so <laughs> he cheats. Yeah, at LAN, right. Uh, just in case you guys don't know, the, the LAN format, like the players basically almost sit with their backs to each other in a row of six. So, um, of course, the ESEA admins are always walking around, double-checking to make sure nobody has anything running except for TF2. Uh, yeah, pretty much no cheats going to be possible, sadly. No trigger bots, none of that crap. Um, as far as I know, anyway. I, not that I would know what to look for. But you can't have any third-party applications running while the ESEA client is running. You see Ruin... Oh, he knows where that med is. He knows. He knows. Oh, that's not a med. Tag, meanwhile, on the spy. And he's going to come in, try to get a kill here. Uh, will it happen, though? Because I don't think I don't think I saw this moment in the frag video. Yep. That's uh, it was kind of close, actually. One or two more little uh, butter knife pokes there would have killed Harblu. Sadly, Harblu had his face to the guy. And so, no. No, that was not frag vid worthy. Shrugger playing the... Uh, Playing, playing it cool down in the basement. And where is our sniper? 
sees something, doesn't like it. Maybe we should start announcing this like golf ruin. Playing the uh, long hole here. It's a par four. Doesn't want to hit those trees. Wants to stay on the fairway. He's assessing a new angle. Doesn't like what he sees so far. And we do see Ruin now moving around once again. Trying to assess this fairway. It's, it's, a, it's a rather difficult shot that he's taking. But if he can get this, he'll be well within birdie range. And he will be at a uh, very nice, comfortable score for the day. So, uh, okay, enough golf. I... <laughs> Oh god, I don't even know if that's what golf really sounds like. I know my grandpa watches it, but I don't. You know, I don't go to Indiana all that often, so I don't get to see the guy. Um, and pretty much, yeah, that's is that. I think that might be the first time I have ever mentioned grandpa on on my uh, on my channel. So hi, grandpa, how you doing? He's a cool guy. I don't think he's particularly up on YouTube, but he's probably more up on YouTube than most people's grandparents. To be perfectly frank, um, he was actually. One of the... Anyway, he, he was... He was he knows tech. The one thing that he doesn't know, and he, he, you know, he's just like every other grandfather in that regard, is, uh, is iPhones. He had to have his granddaughter program his iPhone. So, you know, it happens. Um, and, I mean, come on, it's an iPhone, right? Like, it's supposed to be the most intuitive interface known to man, but whatever. Whatever. Maybe it wasn't an iPhone. Maybe it was, like, one of those Androids. I've never even tried using one of those. Maybe it was a Windows phone. Ugh. I'm just kidding. Windows, please don't sue me. And please let me keep using your products. Um, it's, it's actually not Windows, it's Microsoft. Windows? I don't think Windows could sue me. I think it would have to be Microsoft. Okay, so uh, Microsoft, do that same thing that, that I told Windows to do. Or not to do. Uh, mix up now on defense. They do have their opponents coming in right now. Uber Exchange is going to favor Mix up for the moment here. HRG, though, Ubering this uh, heavy and did get one kill on Plat. And so we'll see. Uh, HRG might actually want to keep going in here, but Tyler has popped Banny up in the air for the, uh, for the heavy to finish off, and I don't think HRG can win this particular little battle here. Tagrung. Gonna have to retreat away from that, as there is a heavy and a soldier kind of staring him down. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and grab a health kit, and the, the efficiency of movement here is actually kind of incredible. Um, his, he always knows exactly where he's gonna land, He's obviously practiced these jumps just a million times, uh, but always knows exactly where he's going to land with each jump and maximizes that jump distance. Uh, incoming attack from Mixup. They want to push this. They want to take the point. I don't know if it's well advised, though, as Hardblue is down. Tag going to go ahead and get back into the last point. No problem, he says. Going to start the back cap. Not quite able to finish it off, but uh, you will see him drawing the entire Mixup team back try and defend this. Shade has his 100% uber ready to go, and that is going to mean HRG will probably win this push. Uh, you're going to see Mixup desperately trying to defend. They've got Ruin out on heavy now. They're probably going to have Enigma and Tyler spawn as... Uh, Tyler spawn as he Soldier, I'm sorry, but Enigma may spawn as some kind of off-class as uh, Shade. He's got the uber. It's coming in. You do see the uh, the knockback from that minigun really working quite well. Enigma on the Soldier, so he has decided no, uh, Soldier is just going to be what's best for me right now since I can't play heavy because Ruin took it. What a jerk. Tag taking down Enigma, no problem. And they are now jumping in, trying to destroy their opponents, but no. Banny and Shrugger, all that's left. And YZ50 Racer is going to take down both of them with his pistol. Actually, Tyler finished off Banny with a, uh, a missile, a rocket, but whatever. Um, and did he... Are we just... Is this like the, the biggest comedy of not touching... Um, not touching health kits that I have ever seen. Because we've seen that happen twice now where people miss health kits. That time it was YZ50 actually walked right over it. Which seems pretty silly in my opinion. That you could even do that. Anyway, Shade... Wait a minute. Shade, are you... Are you are you messing around? You're messing around. He's on the crits, Krieg. So we are going to see a crits. Now, if, if I were mix-up, I would be thinking, okay, they could have a crits. And actually, beautiful play here. Beautiful play calling, that is. Enigma has built a sentry. So he is ready for this. He... He really expected this to happen. Grit's coming in right now. Uh, and Harblue does get taken down. Oh, this might have been that Fragvid moment, actually, where the, the Crit Sticky just landed right there inside the doorway. If you haven't seen the, the ESEA land Fragvid yet, definitely watch it, because I think uh, there were a lot of Snakewater moments, and that was one of them. Mix-up loses all their players. 
That's what happens when you lose your med. Oh my gosh, okay. All right. Um, having just a little bit of a problem right now. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain. Um, last Thursday, I had some surgery done to a tooth. And it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't a wisdom tooth or anything. It was just a, a cavity that was worse than normal or something. Um, I'm not going to go into the details because people don't really want to hear them most of the time. Regardless, it's tooth surgery. And it still hurts. Not very often, but apparently talking for an hour at a time it can do that. It can kind of aggravate it. So, just so you know, the dedication I have to casting this video game is, is pretty, pretty, pretty severe. <clears throat> it's now two to one, of course. And Enigma does manage to take down Lansky over on that flank. Lansky was going for the health, but probably should have just retreated somewhere else. And it is time to be excellent as mix-up. We're going to push in very, very quickly. They're going to do the uh, the classic. I'm sorry. Wow, that was like painful. Um, I was going to say they're they're going to do the classic classic mix-up move, which is just be super aggressive and in your face all the time. Um, and then I realized I was making a pun without knowing it, and then I felt really bad. Uh, attempted a back cap, Platinum and YZ50 both back there. Both of them died to Tagarum. Very, very quick succession, actually. Tyler, Enigma, Harblue now down. But why, uh, Ruin manages to cap back. Didn't even see where he was, and I almost want to see what happened there. Uh, although, you know what? I imagine, I, I think I know what happened. He probably just uh, wrapped around through the door that nobody was watching, either the lower or the right-hand side. So, you know, these things, they occur. It is now 2-2 two to two because of Ruin's clever play, and he is one of the backcap masters of TF2. He really is. But backcaps are not a strategy. They are just an opportunity. So we'll see if Mixup can manage to uh, to continue the momentum here. Not on this mid fight though. Shrugger is uh, he's wanting some health right now, but he no, he is not going to get away with chasing him down. It's going to be Lansky instead who does the chasing, and he spots a lone demo man in its natural environment destroyed. So Mixup uh, in some trouble here, and this is probably going to be a quick round. They do have some spawns, so that's not going to be too bad for them. But Lansky jumping in right now. He pops that uh, heavy up into the air. And now it is time to cap a point. No problem. High Rollers Gaming making it look easy. It's now 3-2. to two, And we will see going into the next round. Oh, sorry. A little, little bit of pain there. Uh, going to the next round. Uh, whether Mixup can recover from that drubbing. Uh, that was pretty much just a mid-fight gone horribly wrong. And those things, when they happen, they are brutal at this level. Because you just you almost can't recover. So, everybody still seems to be in high spirits, I think. Um, bombing soldiers coming in right now, and Platinum playing the air denial game. Uh, we do see almost everyone. It's just Banny. He's not going to find that med at all, which really would have been the only kill that would have mattered there. Uh, and so, yeah, that's uh, another mid fight gone horribly wrong, this time for mix up instead of against mix up. So, HRG going to respawn in just a little bit here. Uh, they're going on heavy. And I don't think they'll probably go Engineer. If anything, I would go, like, Pyro. And they do go Pyro. Shrugger on the Pyro. I am so pro, man. I'm calling these pro strats before they even happen. Shrugger, though. Why would you go Pyro, you ask? Well, because of this! Picks exactly where they can go and uh, blasts that Uber all over the place just so that it can't do too much damage right away. But it doesn't even matter. Uh, it was kind of a desperation play. It's just uh, it's one of those desperation plays that occasionally works. There you go. Classic mix-up manages to get another cap, so it should be now 3-3, three to three, which is just a crazy close game with over half of the half to go. 17 minutes left. Let's see, uh, I need to see the Banny cam. Haven't seen that one in a while. Yeah, that's not Banny. Banny! Oh, excuse me. And right now, Banny getting the better of this exchange, but it won't last very long as the rest of the teams get here. It is now time to see who does more damage quicker. Enigma down. And Platinum down. So it looks like HRG is going to win this one in a huge way. Shrug are going to start chasing along with Sizer. They know exactly where their opponents are. This scout not going to be able to stop both of them. And Harblue, you're in such trouble right now. Harblue going for the... Oh, the nice little surf there. Um, can he get away from this? There's no way. He does manage to kill Sizer. But uh, then Shrugger does get the finishing move. <clears throat> Still, Harblue uh, 
kind of rubbing it in Sizer's face just a little bit there with the little, uh, little cool shades emoticon. But Shade has an Uber. Um, Banny somehow died to YZ50. Didn't even see where that kid was, but uh, he apparently got the kill. Hard Blue just now respawning. The Uber is going to come in fairly soon, maybe? No? Okay, well, they've got time. They do, in fact, have time. Oh, my throat hurts now. Everything hurts. Why does it hurt so much? I just haven't cast it in a while. I think I'm not used to it. Gotta, gotta warm up the, the, the casting muscles again. All, all two of them. Because, you know, it's, it's a workout. It really is. HRG pushing in with the Uber. Not going to have much problem getting at least a little bit of damage done. But they're not getting any kills just yet. Harblue at half health. Uh, Ruin and YZ50 down. Enigma down. This is what HRG wants to see. They are not able to kill Plat and TLR quite yet. But I would expect it to happen fairly soon unless Harblue gets his Uber up. Which he just might. He's very close. 88% right now. 90%. Can he get this Uber in time? I don't know. It looks like he will. And there you go. The Uber is popped. So at this point, uh, it's not going to be much to do for HRG except wait for their opponents to spawn and possibly die. So HRG is going to go ahead and die. They, they choose that option. Um, it's not an option I would choose, but you know, to each his own. Um, I have been reading way too much pictures for sad children. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, I went through the entire archive today. Not gonna say when I went through the archive today. It might have been when I was awaiting an email for three hours and didn't do anything about it. I'm not very proactive. Regardless, it was, uh, you know, it was a good time. A little bit depressing, but that's the way the comic world goes. Mix up now on the midpoint, and they have no problem capping this. Nice, easy time. Sizer does come out and get the kill on Hard Blue and Platinum, though, with the heavy. That always feels a little good, but Shade down as well, so uh, that desperation play by the scouts mix up uh, Wizzy 50 and Ruin, I should say, mix up managed to come away with a med kill. Trading med for med, not too bad, especially because HRG's in the back boat right now. And so is it 4-3, to three, or is it 3-3? Three to three? It's still 3-3. Three to three. At some point it will become 4-3, to three, I'm fairly sure. Nice little traps there by Banny. And Shrugger is just going to play back with the rest of his team. Watch the flanks. This is one thing I heard about the LAN weekend is that HRG were just consistently very good at watching the flanks and sometimes their opponents were not. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. But if that's the case, then Enigma should... You know, he's going to try and get in here, but no, he, he is spotted. There is no question. He's not getting in that door. Or is he? No. No, he's not. Or is he? No. No, he's definitely not. So Enigma down in that Uber exchange right away, as is Platinum. And HRG all of a sudden looking like, oh, well, this is really easy. Um, they do lose Banny, which is a good pick for Mixup to have gotten, but it's the only pick so far. Shrugger now down. <clears throat> and this is where Ruin starts to look really, really, really good at video games. He and YZ50 both are just causing so much trouble for HRG right now. Shade, very low health, but not dead. So Ruin and YZ50 both down. It means that the scouts for mix-up can't get the kill. Uh, Enigma on the spy again. And we'll see if he can make it work this time. Oh, you know what? I've seen this one. Definitely seen this one. A double kill there on Shade and Sizer. And that is quite beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. HRG now kind of in desperation mode. They want to get the kill on Hard Blue because they don't want him to have this huge Uber advantage, but I don't think it's going to matter. Shrugger um, is backing off, actually. Wait. Now he's going for a back cap? What's he doing? Okay, well, now they know he's back there. So he probably shouldn't have walked over that point. Shrugger, you are in some trouble now, son. Uh, he's, he sees his opponent's... I don't think they see him. No, Platt, he knows. Platt knows! But does he know exactly where this guy is? Shrugger is, like, super sneaky right now. And so, Mixup, I think they realize, and maybe Shrugger wanted them to realize that he was behind, but they don't know where, and he's just, he's causing them no end of grief through this, because they know that he can cause, uh, he can cause back caps, he can be all kinds of problems for them. They've got an Uber right now. He's going for it. He's going to try and make the back cap happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But, at the very least, he's, he's still causing problems here uh, behind enemy lines. And, oh, never mind! Platinum with a well-placed sticky trap, and Shrugger just didn't quite see it in time. 
So now mix up with a one man advantage can push in. Their Uber is down, as is Shades. But mix up losing maybe more players in this exchange. We'll have to see exactly what happens. But a lot of damage coming in on the mix up team right now. Uh, HRG getting pressured back from the point just a little bit. But YZ50 down means that HRG should be able to stop this cap from happening. Lansky jumping in. Good, uh, good air transition there to stay away from the mix up team uh, and all the damage that was coming towards him. Goes ahead and grabs the health kit, and now it is time for HRG to command the lead, I think. Uh, they look pretty solid at the moment, although the Ubers are very even. And once again, mix up, they can just kind of sit back here and stall things through the chokes all they want. So we may see a slow game again, or we might see a really quick game as Shade goes ahead and pops the Uber here. <clears throat> Not a great Uber exchange for him, though. He popped first. He's got lower health than his opponents. They are just going to retreat out of that one and... Try to live to fight another day. Shrugger down, though, on the flank and Ruined walks up the stairs into the waiting arms of Tagrung, who decides to, to just kind of keel over and die and be a good friend. Uh, plat, 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 plat. Oh, God! Had Sizer right on top of him, but did manage to get that kill. It's just that Shade is still alive, and I don't think Tyler or Platinum is going to be able to get the kill, so Shade's all good, man. We're going to see a big uber advantage here for HRG in just a little bit. HRG, by the way, if I haven't said it before, stands for High Rollers Gaming. And they do all get jerseys, which is pretty awesome. By the way, I also didn't mention it, but these guys are playing for a lot of money. The ESEA prize pot is something like $7,000 this year, so it's not a bad amount. Um, but even better... There is also a community fundraiser going on to get these guys to I-49. So if you go to I-49.tf, just put that into your browser and hit enter. Um, you will see the status of that fundraiser. You can donate. And I do I do urge you, donate just a little bit. You know, five bucks, whatever you can afford. Um, because we want to get whoever wins this game to England to defeat the evil Euros. And the Australians, because the Australians are going too. And I mean, come on, if the Australians are going to be there, the Americans got to be there. So they just need a little bit of money to make sure the, the plane tickets are good to go. Um, after this video, don't don't click on it during because it might spoil something. But after this video is over, go check it out, i49.tf. Do it, because I, I strongly encourage you. Uh, last year's i46 LAN, run by the same people. It's just, it's just they increment it by the numbered LAN that it actually is. Anyway, I, I digress. Um, last year's I-46 LAN was possibly the best TF2 we have ever seen. And it promises to be even better this time around with, like, the first truly worldwide LAN. The only scene, the only major scene we might be missing would be, like, Asia Fortress. Um, possibly missing South America and South Africa. Both of them have their own little dedicated scenes. Incoming crits from HRG. And they're laying down some serious damage right now. Uh, with Platinum down, Ruin down. There is a nice little sentry gun up there, but I think it may get taken down pretty soon. There you go. And HRG going to probably bring it. If they can do it, it's going to be 4-3. to three, But I don't know, Shrugger. Oh, Shrugger. Such good damage. So there you go, 4-3. to three. Oh, I, I really am at practice in the casting, though, and I can tell it's it's causing some throat problems. It's all kinds of issues. Um, so, prediction time. Just kidding. I already kind of know what happens in this game. Because I did watch the last day of the LAN, which is pretty cool. And if you didn't watch any of the LAN, well, it was live, broadcasted, like, two weeks ago. So, I... I Encourage you to go find all the VODs from that, which should now be on the TeamFortress.tv YouTube channel. Uh, if you just go to TeamFortress.tv, you'll find that YouTube channel, no problem. Um, that's pretty much where you need to go for all your TF2 needs these days. TeamFortress.tv, they've got their own um, dedicated European coverage. And they even covered maybe a couple of Australian games? I don't know. It would be cool to get an Australian Division 2, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, Ruin does manage to take down Shade, interestingly enough. So Mix-Up looking really, really strong here. Uh, Harblue just now respawning. <clears throat> and HRG want to stop this push. But you do see that Shade 
Uh, he's going to have a significant uber disadvantage here. 20%, maybe 25, 30, something like that. Uh, it's not going to be very good. So if Mix Up play this right, then they can get in. And I think they know. You know they, they're obviously holding down the tab key so they can see when players respawn. Uh, they know exactly what kind of uber advantage they have. They're trying to build as fast as possible. This is exactly what you want to do in this situation. Just have a scout hit himself with a basher. Keep himself below that magical 142% number where you build uber at the maximum speed. So, they're going to go in right now. You do see Banny with the sticky trap. Didn't manage to get the kill. They did a lot of damage to Tyler. Uh, and he knows exactly where they're going, laying down a lot of damage. But incoming Uber right now, Shade at 80%. Can they get the kill on the med? Uh, the sentry gun is down, Shrugger's still up, and Ruin and Tyler are dead. But there you go, they kill the heavy of Shrugger. Enigma is doing a ton of damage. Uh, Shade does get the Uber. Oh, it just barely connects to Banny. But you are going to see Hard Blue and Enigma walk right back in. Nice Uber saw from Shade, managing to extend this Uber just a little bit longer. But it's still not going to be enough. I think Mixup will have this round in the bag. So it's now four to four. The next point wins everything. And with five minutes left to go, it could almost go into overtime even, um, which would make this just stellar. But, uh, you know, maybe you've seen enough TF2 by now. I don't know. Maybe you're about to turn the, the video off. Maybe you're just like one of those guys who's like, okay, I don't need to see how it ends. Whatever. I just wanted to hear Sal cast for a while. But now I'm really bored or I have something to do. I got to take the kids to the vet or wherever you take kids. I don't know. Maybe you're one of those guys. Maybe your life is just really busy and you can't bother listening to the last part of this video. I don't know. Uh, but mix up. Losing a mid-fight here and losing it in a big way. Hard Blue's down, Shade's still up, and if they can't get the kill on Shade, that's going to mean possibly the end of this game. HRG know they can push this very, very effectively. Platinum, I'm going to go ahead and lay down some sticky traps here, uh, but it might be too little too late. He's taking the heals. <clears throat> Ruin on the sniper, but... I don't know if that's going to matter. He's going to have to get a miracle shot here. And HRG, I mean, they know. They know that every trick in the bag is going to be pulled. Uh, you do see Enigma coming up on Soldier. So it's going to be Ruin on Heavy. <clears throat> Jumping around and trying to avoid the incoming damage from this Ubered team. Uh, Platinum trying to lay down the damage himself. He actually, interesting, gets into spawn and immediately changed classes. Just so he could avoid the, uh, the incoming damage and immediately get some health. I like that. I'm going to have to use that. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Shrugger gets like three kills there at the end and wins it for HRG. So that means that Mixup goes down to the lower bracket. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was Classic Mixup versus HRG. That is how exciting TF2 gets. So uh, I do hope that you and all of your friends and all of your family enjoy watching yourselves from TF2. I also hope that you donate to I-49. Because honestly, please, yes, do that.